Good evening one and all and welcome to the video. My name is Somil Shah. In this video, I'm going to be talking about setting up uh, and using AWS Athena federated queries. Querying DynamoDB with the standard SQL via Athena. Well, what are you talking about Somil? Explain me a little bit here. Okay, let me explain you. What we are trying to do is uh, we essentially data is scattered across various sources, right? S3, Redshift, DynamoDB, Aurora, MySQL, whatever, Postgres, uh, uh, several databases, right? So with federated queries, what it allows you to do, it allows you to essentially connect to various sources and query them using standard SQL via Athena. So the way it works behind the scene is uh, they use they use Lambda, right? The Lambda essentially connects to the database or the source, right? And essentially when you submit a query, it essentially fan, fan out your Lambda get the data from the source and then shows you on Athena. Very cool. And let me show you a demo of that, okay? Uh, I just have two, three slides. Just gonna read a couple of definition and then go to demo. AWS introduced in uh, AWS introduced its Athena service in 2016 as a way of user to query the data that they held in S3 via familiar SQL-like interface. That's pretty much the way it stayed until the tail of end of 2020 when AWS introduced the concept of Athena federated queries. Federated queries allows or enables user to run SQL queries across stored in relational, non-relation object and custom data sources. So for example, uh, here I'm just showing you a demo. Uh, so you can connect various data sources. I'm showing you like your source, right? So it can be Dynamo, Aurora, anything, right? So behind the scene, it scales your Lambda, it reserves the concurrency and then spills the data to the S3. Okay, so, okay, so I'm enough of all that. Show me some demo, man, I mean, all right. So I have a beautiful, actually a small table that's called movie. All I have is two records in that. And the goal is to teach you guys the federated queries, right? So if I go to tables, I have that, right? So the way it works, if you come to Athena, right? You come to the data source and I do not have one. So create data source. I wanna work with Dynamo. So I'm gonna click on Dynamo, click on next. Um, then I'm gonna say DynamoDB. Okay, so I'm gonna provide a name. Over here, I get to select a Lambda. I already have a Lambda, but I'll show you the steps to do that. So when you click on create Lambda function, uh, I guess this one, you would come to the screen, right? All you gotta do is um, put your spill bucket, which means when the Lambda runs, right? It's gonna get the data from the source. Where should it dump the data? You wanna put the source here, okay? Uh, you can, again, uh, configure memory, timeouts, all that, right? Prefix, you can provide a prefix, right? I've done that and click on deploy. This will deploy the stack. I've done that, then there will be essentially a Lambda called whatever, you know, when you deploy the stack, you'll see a Lambda in your function, right? So I'm gonna select that Lambda. I'm gonna click on next and leave everything to default. And now it's been created. Now I can go back to my query now. This is my data catalog, the data that I have in my data catalog. But now you would see a drop down DynamoDB federated query. Now here is my table from DynamoDB. As you can see, movies table, right? Uh, if I can show you, explore table and items. So I have two items, right? So now I'll run the query behind the scene. It calls Lambda and it essentially fans out uh, 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 and it spills your data to the S3. Now you can see Little Black, Rush, these are the two movies I have in my Dynamo, right? I'll add one more here. Uh, so we'll call this, we'll add this um, one more item into Dynamo. Simple, again, I, I'm not making things complicated, I'm just teaching you the concept, right? So now if I again run the query, uh, hopefully I should see the third one. That's my expectation. And there you, there you go, um, Somil Shah, 1995. So amazing, right? Uh, the way, uh, you know, Amazon makes things easy, right? You can connect various data, you can connect to various data source, for example, um, DocumentDB, OpenSearch, Redshift, Dynamo, Postgres, a um, lot more, there's a there's lot more. You can even do your custom, uh, but that's more on the upcoming next video. I hope you have enjoyed this video on federated queries in Athena. If you liked it, if you liked the concept, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you are using federated queries in your company. 
with that being said thank you so much for watching keep smiling keep programming if you have any more question list your question in the comments and we'll get back to you uh, as and when i get time keep smiling keep programming see you guys next time